People in the village of Maskor know exactly what discrimination feels like. Most of them are Dalits, the so-called untouchables in the Hindu caste system. Murli Harijan is one of them. Last December, he decided to stand for elections in the local school management committee. He and the other locals claim that district officers responsible for conducting these elections picked a person from a higher caste and forced him to lose. They said that both candidates got the same number of votes. The 58th vote, which was clearly on my side, was invalidated. Then they tossed a coin, which I won, but they then decided that we would not have to draw from a hat. It said defeat. I later found out that both the papers had defeat written on it, and I was made to draw first. The entire village feels betrayed, and they say this is a typical behaviour and claim that the state's allocation for Dalit development doesn't necessarily reach them. Because we're poor and illiterate, they don't listen to us. Majority of the students here are Dalits. The locals contributed money and labor to set up the school, but now have no say in it. The detected parents signed a petition to have a re-election. Of the 123 parents, 83 signed the petition, and the matter has now gone to court. We talked to the headmistress, Lakshmi Sharma, who says that the elections were free and fair. The election was over, and after the winners and losers were announced, we all went home. Then a few days later, they came and padlocked our school, saying the process was unfair. Now the district education board will have to decide. We asked the official who conducted the election, but he said he was too busy to talk to us. From east to west Nepal, these incidents can be seen. There are still schools where Dalit students are banned from entering classrooms or made to sit separately. Many students have to bring their own plates and bowls to school for lunch, and many are not allowed to use local taps. But for the many Dalits living across Nepal, it is a daily reality. Subina Shreshta Al Jazeera, Kapilvastu, Southern Nepal.